What's happening, everybody? This is Topher Scott with the Hockey Think Tank, and in collaboration with the Hockey Players Club, we are going to show you some clips about how to attack off of broken plays. And in these four clips, it's going to be specific to creating turnovers on the forecheck. And typically, broken plays happen right after a turnover, right after a 50 50 battle, uh, when the defensive team is not necessarily able to get back in their defensive structure. So there's a little bit of chaos going on, and that's when you can really attack to score some goals. <music> And as we get going here, first clip is going to be a Vegas. They chip it in to go get on the forecheck. You got F1 right here. You got F2 sniffing out coming this way. You got F3 right here. So he goes in, lays the body, creates the turnover, and boom. Broken play right away. They don't get into the cycle. They want to attack right away through the slot. So you see the defenseman coming in to that slot area. Again, Philadelphia getting into their breakout. They have one, two, three, four players right around that area behind the net or right in front of the net, which leaves all that space open for the nice goal right here. This next one, again, you're going to see Ovech can get in there as F1. They turn it over, and then boom, right into the slot right there. Another great goal. Another hit by F1. F2 sniffing it out. And this time, F3 jumps right into the hole. Again, you see one, two, three Philadelphia players just kind of standing around, and they attack right away before Philadelphia can get back into their D zone. Here's one. Uh, it looks like we're picking on the Flyers here right now. But this is the Islanders. Again, they're very, very good at this. They chip the puck inside the zone. You got F1 coming in. You got F2 right over here. That's going to be sniffing it out. You got F3. Right here, sniffing it out in case there's a turnover, which there is, and boom, right in the back of the net right away. So create that turnover with physicality. Again, you can debate. Some people like to say hitting's kind of getting away from the game right now. When you get out on the forecheck on that F1 and you can create contact, I think that's good to wear the other team down. I also think that's good for creating turnovers, and I also think that's good because for the defenseman that's going back, he's going to think twice again in uh, going back to get that puck with the time and space that he does or does not have. Again, there, attack right away, right in front of the net. So another nice play right here. And then this last clip right here, this is going to be of the Blackhawks. It's a little bit longer of a clip, but to bring it, chips it in. Boom, he gets that first contact. F2 comes down into here. You got F3 that's already in there trying to create that turnover. So they almost get, but now they stay at it. They got the one guy in here. They got another one. You got to bring it, kind of sniffing it out in the slot right here. Puck goes to the other side. All of a sudden, great habit. Get back hard through the middle. Good angle coming back this way. Coming back hard through the middle whenever that puck comes across to the other side of the ice. Great stick there by Debrinket. Causes the turnover. Attack right away in that slot area for the goal. So there you see four different opportunities that the offensive team had to really, really attack in a chaos type situation off a broken play right after a turnover on the forecheck. And again, to reiterate the reason why that's so important and why so many teams want to attack right away off a change of possession is teams, when they get into their defensive structure, they're very, very good at eliminating scoring chances, eliminating goals. But if you can attack them before they can get into their structure, as you see from these four goals, you can create a lot of offense. So hope you enjoyed this clip and this collaboration with the Hockey Players Club.